Welcome back guys. Today we're heading down into an adit. We're gonna explore it. I believe there's two tunnels and a shaft that veers to the surface. We're gonna get in here, look around, take a couple samples and uh, see what we find. So hopefully we don't have any critters down in here. have to adjust my headlamp so I get a better angle. There we go, that's better. Hopefully we don't have any wolverines back in here. Solid quartz and mica pocket. On this area they worked a little bit more. Looks like this slab here came from somewhere up here. I'm not seeing any signs of any real collapse, which is good. Here we have a little bit of pyrite. So that band right in there looks pretty juicy. I think that's going to be a sample spot right there. going. Holy moly. Look at that. Where the heck does that go? How did they get in there? Looks like they gouged out a little pocket right there. That seam heads up. Keep banging my head. Such so tight quarters. <laughs> then again, I'm a little over six feet tall. So I'm bound to bump my head. So it looks like these veins, there's a bunch of little spider veins that split and dip in different directions from this tunnel to the first one. Yeah, that stuff right in there looks pretty darn interesting. Let's keep going. There's a little pocket. Ooh, we got some fresh limbs in here, so it could be an animal. See those pine boughs right there? Hopefully it's nothing bigger than a rat. Nice little quartz buggy action right there. So it looks to me like there's a bunch of material left in here in this mine. To be honest, it's gonna be exciting to take some samples, see what we get. There's the pile. That looks like a little rat's nest. Ooh, I heard a noise. Oh yeah, he might even be in there. Hey little buddy. Look at that little cocoon, little nest. Oh yeah, we have brand new fresh rat droppings. Nice and green. Look at that little hole he made for himself. It's pretty wild. We'll leave that here for now. So here we got a the biggest room. I can stand in this vinyl material right here at this contact. Looks mighty good. Pinches, widens out. And this heads back up in here. And it looks like they chased it up this wall. Here's some quartz crystals. All right. Whew, that keeps going. See this pile of muck here? Um, it's about two and a half, three feet tall stacked up. You can still get through, but it looks like whoever, the last miner that was in here, he was just cherry picking and glory holing. Looks like when he was working on this bigger room, instead of hauling out the waste rock, he put it right here and you can still get by, but you know, if I were to come back in here and work further, especially if there's anything interesting up there, you know, I'd dig this material out. It appears that the vein, the tenure of the vein changes. Man, that just keeps going. Now we're into solid quartz. Uh, the question is, do I want to go through there? Oh, looks interesting. 
Got no collapses. I think I'm gonna go for it. I don't know if I have clearance with my backpack. Might have to take that off. Well, I'm gonna carry, throw my safety pack up ahead. I don't want that with me. Huge pile of uh, debris, probably from a rat. But everything looks pretty darn solid. So that's giving me a little bit of confidence here. Now that could be a rat hotel. Hope they don't come out and attack me. Almost through. And made it. So we're on the other side of that back filling. Oh shoot. Left my pick on the other side. Uh, but fortunately, I still have a knife in case we encounter any critters. long tunnel driven by hand. So the ground is nice and dry. You know, the mine looks really, really sound. Seeing a little bit of mineralization. So it's getting a little hairy. <laughs> it's getting a little hairy back in here. But uh, this mine looks really sound, so we're gonna continue on a little ways. And there's a shaft that opens to the surface just up ahead somewhere. A little pocket. Here we got some more interesting looking quartz. Looks like we got another pile of brush up there. Some rat droppings along the way. Uh, we do have some mineralized vein action up here. Ooh, nice little pocket. A little Xenocrista mica. Now here, it's really hard to tell what they're chasing. Well, that might be the end of the tunnel. Now it's starting to echo. Hear that echo. Oh, 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 oh. Completely different sound than in that first tunnel. Yeah, this could be some interesting material. Here's the end. Look at that crazy mold growing off that rat dropping. Well, I don't know if you can see that. Petrified mouse turd. Growing some kind of mold. It's pretty wild. It's about two, three inches tall. Down here in the mine. So it looks like the vein returns. They literally mined out uh, the central portion on the wall rock here. Okay, no animals. So now it looks like that shaft above actually does not connect to this mine. One way in, one way out. But here, even in the ceiling, we got the, the vein back. And here at the face, here at the face, looks like we got a showing of the vein. So this stuff is pretty darn mineralized. It's about three and a half, three and a half feet thick. Um, it looks like it's super enriched at the contact here, uh, up there. And this is where they ended. You'll notice there's no blast holes. Um, nothing like that. I'm gonna take a sample from this face because if this is good material, there's a whole lot left to mine here. And this tunnel is quite sound. So I'm gonna get my gear ready, uh, bust out the chisel and ax, and bag and tag a sample from the face of the mine. All right. My chisel, I like to use these Tyvek bags for samples because they're strong and I can label them. 
I don't have my buckets, so I'm gonna put one on the ground to collect whatever falls, and then I'll try to put the rest in a bag. Yeah, I'll take a little bit of that. It's real soft. No wonder they were working this by hand. Interesting. I'll show you guys. Check out how soft this material is. It's really easy to work. Hopefully it's good. Yeah, so I'm gonna take a little bit here. Catching most of it. That's good. There we go. I really wish I had my bucket. Let's get a little bit of variety. So we have a more representative sample. Grab something from up here. Yeah. That's interesting. It's almost clay in a couple spots. Look how soft this material is up here. It's like clay in this little pocket. All right, well, we got our sample. So I'm gonna label it here. Uh, w. w mind face. A soft. Play like and left contact. Well, I didn't run into any critters or those rats. We found their homes, their nests. We found the face of the mine, which is pretty cool. Hopefully, it's loaded. Uh, we got some easier workings back in the first tunnel. Should definitely sample some of that, and see what we get. But uh, I'd like some fresh air, so let's get out of here. So my new headlamp, I got low setting and high setting. Look at that, it's pretty darn awesome. The ceilings are, ooh, we're in an echo chamber. Uh, five to seven feet tall, I'm gonna say. But everything looks pretty darn sound and if there's some good gold in here, we can definitely come back and work some of it. Uh, that first shaft had a ton of ore looking material left. Something was living in there at one time or bedding down right there. Shoot, I guess that could be a bear or something. It's a pretty round depression. Ooh, what's that? What the hell is that? That's some kind of, what the heck is that? Oh man, what in the world? This could be some kind of petrified Overwinter bear poop. That thing's just unreal. I don't know what the heck that is, but it's definitely creepy. Cool. <laughs> There's my pick. About two and a half feet, maybe three. Ooh, it feels a lot better. Down in here, large open room, not as confined. Closer to the way out, I'm liking this. To document this, I need to take a sample back in here. This last guy was glory holing back in that material along the edges of this uh, dipping nice layer. To me, 
This band up here looks like the best. I'm gonna take a little bit out of here. See what we get. Actually, I'm gonna run back get my buckets so I can catch that material a lot easier. There they are. All right, opening still open. Take another look at the contact. That looks really nice in there. And this whole band. So actually, if this stuff is paying, this is just wide enough to where one could drift this up quite a ways. Huh. And or down, I didn't even look at that. Down in there. So the vein's running from there, up the wall, and here. This stuff does look nice. Not with a G, with an N. <laughs> That's a little, a little sketchy. Again, that band's pretty clay soft, which is easy to work. We'll show you what we're picking at. Right up here, this highly mineralized material, and like we got clays in between. So we need a little bit more of that. That'll be our sample. But actually, this material here with quartz in it looks even better. I might gouge some of that off as well. I'll need the, the chisel for that. This light's too bright to show color. I mean, this is solid iron and it looks like we got some pyrite cubes, which could be leaching out gold. Get a little bit more of that. Here's that softer material. A whole bunch of it left in here. All right, well, we got a couple samples from this mini ballroom. Nice bucket here. Some pretty interesting looking stuff. We'll have to do a little crushing panning and we'll probably actually get this acid as well. Here's a bunch of vinyl material right here. And we're back to daylight. Coming out. If we work this here mine, we'll have to dig this out a little bit better and shore up some of this debris so you don't have any disasters that we could otherwise mitigate. But that was a good little caving exploration. Got a couple really good samples to sample and uh, I'm hoping we got ourselves a bonanza. We've already found a little bit of free melon here on the dump. Finding the deposit left in the wall in potentially multiple different areas and at the face, it's really exciting.